In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a drag and drop interaction when more than one of your objects are the same as one another. Okay, let's get started here. So here's the problem. I have this uh, interaction all set up so that I can create a drag and drop interaction. But before I do, it's occurred to me that, of course, uh, for example, the Ontario box here would fit underneath the Canadian provinces. But it isn't necessarily going to always go to this one box over here. It could be placed in this one, this one, this one, this one, or this one. And the same thing is true of all of the other items. So how do we create a drag and drop interaction that allows a user to place any of the correct answers in any of the correct locations? Well, that's a little bit of a challenge. It requires an extra step in the normal three-step Adobe Captivate drag and drop process. So let me take you through that now so that you can apply the same tactic in your e-learning designs. So you want to start the drag and drop interaction wizard. You can do this from the interactions drop down icon. Alternatively, you could also do it from the insert uh, drop down menu and select launch drag and drop wizard. I'm going to do it from the interactions drop down icon and select drag and drop. And this is, of course, going to bring me into the drag and drop interaction wizard. Uh, this is step one of three. Now, the first thing you might want to do is reposition your submit button, especially if it's covering up one of your objects. You don't want it to interfere in this process. Now, the very first thing I need to do is I need to select all of the Canadian provinces that are draggable objects. Now, normally we could randomize this up a bit, but in this case here, we've got them all in a nice little row. You certainly can jumble them up later once you're uh, looking at the completed uh, drag and drop. Now, in this case here, because I'm actually going to uh, add these to a specific type or group, if you will, um, I'm going to hold down my shift key so that I can select multiple items and put them into a single group. Not to be compared or not to be confused with uh, when you group multiple objects together. This is a little bit different. So I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to click on Ontario, Alberta, New Brunswick, Quebec, British Columbia, Manitoba. And instead of just hitting next, I'm going to hit this little plus. So I'm adding a new type. And I'm going to call this uh, provinces drag. Click on OK. Now I just need to click away because currently all of these are selected and now I'm going to select all of the US states. Again, I'm going to hold down my shift key and once again I'm going to click the add new type button and we'll call these states drag. Click OK. And we can click away from that and click Next. And now, of course, we can select. We're in step two of three. We're going to select the drop targets. But we need to organize these into types or groups as well. So we'll start off with the Canadian provinces. Again, hold down your shift key, select all of the items that will make up or all of the drop targets that make up Canadian provinces. We'll click on the plus icon, the add new type, and we'll call this provinces drop. Click on OK click away and then make a new selection by holding down the shift key. We'll do all the US states now. And we'll click the plus icon to add new type. And we'll call this states. I can't remember what I called the other one. We'll call it uh, drop. And click OK. And that's it for step two. Now for step three, 
we're going to show the relationship. And this is actually kind of neat looking. What we're going to do is we're going to select someone, one of the, the boxes for Ontario. And we only need to do this for one of them and select one of the Canadian provinces drop targets. And you'll see, wow, this amazing effect. And so what we have here is basically it automatically creates for you all of the possibilities. So Ontario could go here, 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 here. Alberta could go here, 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 and so on. Now we're going to do the same thing for the U.S. states. We'll select, we'll grab Texas, and we'll select one of the uh, drop targets here. And again, the same thing. So now we have a relationship with all of the boxes. We're pretty much good to go, so we're going to hit Finish. And this is going to return us to our normal classic view. And there's certain things that you can do at this point. Um, one of the things that to me comes right off the bat is I've got the success and failure captions for these. So that's, uh, that's fine. You can um, maybe position those so that they're easier to edit. So we'll say, correct, you got all the provinces and states correct. Well, let's just resize this so it fits nicely. And we also have our failure message here. And we can put that off to the side here and just type in, sorry, that wasn't correct. And we can just maybe position these two together so that they're off to the side and out of the way. Now, there are certain things that you can do uh, with this uh, with this setup. Of course, you're going to want to choose what happens when you have success. You could simply, um, you know, go to next slide would be an option. You uh, might want to choose what happens with failures. And of course, with failures, uh, you could just have them continue. Um, but you could also have them do nothing. Uh, there, currently, this uh, interaction is set up for one attempt, but you could set it up to be an infinite number of attempts. And uh, we could have actually um, a reset all button, or sorry, a reset all action. So in other words, what happens is that if they don't get it right, it sends all of these objects back to their original source. Uh, you can auto submit all the correct answers and you can have a reset button that might be useful if you get a little bit confused. Let's put the reset button over here. And one of the other things that you can do is you can actually have uh, instant feedback as well. And that's done by selecting the drop target and then choosing, of course, um, the object actions. So in this case here, you could actually say that anytime someone selects uh, or drops an incorrect item on the US states, you could actually have it go back to its original location. In this case, I won't do that, um, but I do have another video that explains how you can actually set that up for um, multiple captions for each interaction element or each drag and drop by itself. So let's hit cancel and let's test this out and see how it works. So here we go. We've got um, all of my provinces and all of my US states. So let's put Ontario here. Let's put Colorado over there. We could put California at the bottom here, New Mexico somewhere in the middle, the rest. And it literally doesn't matter which of the boxes underneath Canadian provinces that you put them in. Let's purposely get them wrong here. Let's get a couple wrong and we'll just hit submit. Nope, that's not right. Sorry, that wasn't correct. So now we can try again. 
Uh, again, we can put these in any order we wish. That's the beauty of this particular setup here is that we can completely, as long as we get the right types into the right location, we're good to go. There we go. Correct, I got all the provinces and states correct. And now, of course, we can continue on with the rest of our course. Guys, if you like the uh, videos that I'm making for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was helpful or useful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.